Hi all, I hope everyone's keeping safe and well. At the moment, as you know, clearly one of those clothes because of COVID 19, but it doesn't mean you can't stop training. So, what I'm going to do is give you warm ups, stretching exercises, and a few other tips here and there to keep us all going over the next couple of days or couple of weeks. We keep adding videos each week on different stages. So, this morning is stretch, warm ups, some basics, and some fundamental movements from each of the patterns. Okay, guys, let's get ready to go. As a student of Taekwondo, as a student of Taekwondo, I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I shall respect my instructors and seniors. I shall respect my instructors and seniors. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall be a champion of freedom and justice. I shall be a champion of freedom and justice. I shall build a more peaceful world. I shall build a more peaceful world. Let's go. Okay, guys, first warm up starters. Do this for 20 to 30 seconds, okay? So remember, feet open, hands out wide. Ready? So remember, 30 seconds of this. Next stage, knee raises. Same thing, 20 seconds to 30 seconds. High knees. So remember, 20, 30 seconds of that also. Third exercise for warm up, heel kicks. So remember, heels will touch their hands here. Okay, so fast motion. Okay, each one 20 to 30 seconds. That's the first section of warm up. Okay, guys, so after we're doing the warm up, as you know, we do 20 to 30 seconds of each. I want you to rotate your arms forward, nice big circles all the way forward. Once you go forward for about 15 20 seconds, bring them backwards 15 20 seconds, outwards. And inwards then, same thing, 15 to 20 seconds. Once you've done that, you can shrug your shoulders back, rotate them forward, then head exercise, bring your head back, and then go eight to ten times up and down. So eight to ten times head up and down. Eight to ten times left to right. Left to right. We work down to our body, we rotate our hips. Not small circle, large possible circles, obviously, because we want to lose out the back. Opposite direction, same thing, 15 20 seconds of opposite rotation. Hands and knees, small bend, loosen up the knees, loosen up the legs. Downwards as well. We also do ankle rotations. One direction, then opposite direction. Same and beautiful. Rotate. Make sure you rotate them from the ankle. Okay. Another light stretch is just lean forward, hands your knees, and rest. Don't force it, just rest. Once you feel the stretch in the back of your legs, that's the main thing. Hold 20 seconds. Okay guys, that's another part of the warm up. Stage three is coming up. Okay guys, so just in case if your parents won't allow you to put your hands on the wall, or you can use this outside also if you have the back garden space or whatever, fine. If not, handy chair in the house. Alternating leg swings, okay? <clears throat> 15 seconds on each leg roughly. Does that have to be precise in 15? Could be longer, could be shorter, depending on you. Okay, so hold the chair. Alternating your leg. You can do left leg first on the zone, and then right leg. It's up to you. So, leg swing. Nice, high, leg swing. Okay? Same on the other side. Once we've done that, yop all the Yop meaning side risers. So, again, we're going to use the chair for stability, or a wall, or your kitchen counter if you can. Turn your foot to the direction of the wall, the chair, or the kitchen counter. Don't drop your shoulder, don't drop your knees. If it's hip height only, that's fine. We're working on flexibility. Again, keep your body upright as much as possible. 
Minimal body, maximum leg effort. So again, 10, 15 seconds in each leg. So again, nice foot sore position, looking in the direction you're lifting your leg. One. Okay, same on the other side. That's your maximum leg effort. If you feel like you're taking advances, this for the curl belts, either use your belt or using a rubber band if your parents have an extension, whatever case may be, that's fine. Place your own your foot. Now I'm going to move the chair on the other side, just for stability. For your kicking practice, this is for the more advanced students. Same position. Chamber the knee, hold the band, extend. Bit more resistance exercise. Same with each leg. 10, maybe 15 seconds. Okay guys? We're going to go into stretch just after this next one. Okay? So work on that first. Let's go. Okay guys, so you're warmed up, your legs are fairly flexible and loose. Now we're going into some fundamental stretches, just some preparation. Again, do not overemphasize heaviness or don't do them too light. Emphasis here is when you feel the muscle tight. So if that could be high, it could be low. Don't force it when it's too painful. So you need to lock your fingers, stretch your own front first, up over your head, touch the top of your head, up and increase it then by going up on your toes, and down, up on your toes, and then down. Again, going back to the next exercise, lean forward, hinging from your hips, arms here, stretch. If you can, touch the floor. Let your body relax. Again, once you feel the muscle stretch or tight, that's all you need. Hold maybe 20 seconds. Bring your arms forward, drop your hips down. I enjoy squats, stretches, because it opens up the hips in a more predominant. Don't bring your chest forward. Back. Sit like a silverback gorilla if you can. Drop your hips down. Yeah? Elbows inside. Give your hip flexors a bit of resistance. Tease it out. Yeah? Hold again. 23 seconds. Come up slightly. Again, roll the hips. Okay? Hold your feet twice shoulder width, or wherever it takes you to be. From here, just gently bend your right knee first. Right hand, or your elbow, keep your position. Again, feel the tightness or the stretch here. Change. Again, five, six seconds each side. You can then probably do change, change. And each time you change, you can go lower. And low. Then you go into a Cossack stretch. Heel up, toes up, drop your hips down. And again on the other side. Emphasis, don't raise your heel. Nice transitional movement, take your time. Come back to center, raise your body up. Keep your right hand open, right hand up. Lean to your left, don't twist, lean. Opposite side, lean. No more than eight, ten seconds. Up, turn on the ball of your feet, face in one direction. Yeah, bend, extend, bend, extend. Do not have your hip and knee straight under you. And 90 degrees. Further back, a more stretch here. The hip flexion in front of your body. Just here. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. And up. Back in the center. So make sure to stretch a little bit further. Down on your knees. Sit down. Hands back. Lean. Stretching out your abdominals and your quads. Then bring your body up, nice and high. Bring your body forward. Don't go onto your elbows, stay up in your hands. Just to make sure you see, 
that is your pelvis touches the floor, nothing else. Not your chest, not your arms, not your head. Stretch it as far as you can. Drop your pelvis. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulder. Not it. Under your shoulder. If you can't touch it, don't worry about it. Just let your body relax. The more it relaxes, the easier the stretch becomes. I want you to hold that, maybe six, seven seconds. Push back, don't move your hands. Drop your hips down, stretching out your back. Stretch. Roll forward and up again. Again, you do it for four or five times. So, when we do it, again, we'll keep a side view. Hips, arms on the knee here. This is where your pelvis drops. Head up, legs straight. Yeah? And then drop your hips back. So, head down, hips back. Next one, my personal favourite, frog stretch. Knees out, feet together. So in case I'll do it from the front, I'll do it from the side. So your hips are out here. Yeah? You just tease your hips side to side. Just shake out from your hips. And then gently lean forward onto your elbows and drop your pelvis to the floor. Bring your chest down. Make sure so you're not here. Here. You shake, then you drop. Hold. Once you do that, come back, feet out, and just hold. Again, 10, 15 seconds. And then gently walk in your hands in as far as you can. So you should say your feet. Stay down. Bend. Lift up. A rotate. Obstruction. That's open up the legs and the lower section. Now, next will be the fundamental movements. Okay guys, get ready. Okay guys, so we are all nice and warm, all fairly loose, very relaxed. Muscles are prepared for exercises. Now, what we're doing now is the basic fundamental movements for beginners. There will be another video made on Tuesday for Chunji up to Dosan. Fundamental movements from the patterns and some kicking drills and exercises. The following videos then will follow. From Wan Yo up to Tege is the next one. Fundamental movements, individual movements. Some three step, two step will follow. And one step, harang, true to all the black belt patterns. So they are in the next four coming videos. Again, you can go back over and use these videos to go back over stuff constantly, but keep them in the catalog. So guys, save them on the video. So we're gonna start. So the beginners, we've got the first thing we ever learned, it's the attention stance. Our heels are together, forming a V shape. Legs straight, chest out. We make two fists, we don't turn the hands this way, we don't tuck the elbows. Arms on our back, just slightly on front of the body, nice straight line. So we bow, three in, king. Okay, so it's 15 degrees. Jumbi means ready. From Korean, Jumbi means ready. Move our left foot out, hands in front of the navel, feet. Straight, not turned, straight, okay? So, shoulder width. Not this big, not this small. Shoulder width, for me. First thing we're gonna do is Narani Jumisugi. Okay, parallel renaissance. Parallel renaissance. Next movement is gonna be parallel renaissance, middle punch. Just as a fundamental exercise. So before we punch, our left hand, which is this side by the way, our left hand is going to go out, as we go up, our right hand goes back. Like so. And as we punch, up, and stretch. Okay? Up, and stretch. We do that 
five, maybe six times on each side. Okay, guys? Then we're going to change into sitting stance. Anansui. Sitting stance, Anansui. One and a half times shall width apart. Do not turn your feet out. Feet stay straight. Drop your hips down. Knees should be able to just see your toes. Do not allow your knees to go this way. This is incorrect. Back, straight down. Same position with your hands. Ready position, shoulder line. Punching using your knee spring. So relax, lift, punch. Relax, lift, punch. Don't swing the arm up this way. As you go down, your hand comes up. One, two. One, two. Okay, so we do that maybe 10 to 15 times. If you really want to push yourself, maybe 20. Okay guys? Next position. Gunan Tsuki. Gunan. Walking stance. Shoulder width apart. One and a half time shoulder width and length. Leg straight back. Do not turn your foot out. Okay? From here, parallel stance. Straight back. Leg, not relax. Straight. Not sideways. From here. Whoa, this is my balance. So from here. So we are human. From here, nice straight lat on, nice hands ready position. This leg will straighten, this leg must stay straight. So we lift the leg up and nice control move. One, two. One, two. Always maintaining the correct position. Do maybe 10, 15 on each leg. Next position, you hold the walking stance. Holding the walking stance is vitally important. I'll do it from the front board and then from the side position. Walking stance. Right hand. Left hand. Shoulder height. Body slightly pulls back. As you know, I'm up. When I go into the low block, Najone Maki. Najone Maki, no block. Back up on Najone Maki. This is for the more advanced. Out of arm, low block. Using the torque of the twisting of your trunk of your body, bring the hands down. We're rotating the accent to here. Your hand chin, half facing. One, two. One, two. So side position. Up, down. Up, down. Make sure you use that on both sides. So not only on your left leg, but also left hand, right hand, one. Up, down. Up, down. Don't turn the hand out. Don't have it here or here. Here, little finger, it's more or less. Six inches both. Hand chin. Middle block. I'll do it forward and do it sideways. Before I go into a stance. As you said, low block starts here. This way. Middle block starts on the outside. Inside, outside. Again, walking stance. Hands, shoulder height. Lie it, not down here. Don't flick the arm out. Rotate the body. One, two. One, two. Hand and foot on the same line. Not here, not up here, not down there. Tone on the outside. Back of palm up, as I said, outer form. And palm up, inner form. So again, you do it on the right side. One. 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 Okay guys, so that's your stances, both sitting, walking. One thing that I will emphasize, the importance of constant use of a knee spring. So remember, you have sitting stance, walking stance. When you're using these movements from one to the next, 
you must use sine wave, otherwise known as knee spring. Knee spring is that you relax the body enough to prepare the movement. So you go down, up, and then forward. Common mistake is going down too low, and then this part of the body is in a straight line with each other. That should be a straight line. Relax just enough. So moving forward to you. Just to practice your knee spring again, proper walking sounds at all time. Down, up, step. Relax, lift, step. Okay guys, same backwards. Down, up, step. Don't lift your foot. Let your foot glide. Down, up, step. Okay guys? That's basically all the fundamental movements. For beginners to practice. As I said, Tuesday night, I'm going to be here making the next video from Chunji up to Dosan, incorporating psychic exercises and all the fundamental movements of new movements from each of these patterns of those who just graded or preparing to grade. This is what we're looking for. Okay, guys, so cheerio. King, one. Okay, guys, so that's. Uh, and I want you guys to get your manuals out or go online to our website www.calerity.com go to the student manual, start studying beginners, start studying our manuals all students should be studying our manuals so beginners, I want you to practice your attention stance chair yet to me parallel retina stance, rani jumbi sugi sitting stance, anan sugi walking stance, gunan sugi Okay, there the cream for the stances. Also want you using your barrel drooby or coyote drooby, middle punch or over punch. Okay? In your sitting stance punch position. Your low block position, back of palm up in the or your middle block position, kayone middle mat. Kayone maki. Sorry, my apologies. Tongue tied. Alright, so we show very human. Get your manuals out. Alright? Start studying. All color grades, start studying wherever your next grade is and your three step, two step, one step. Keep safe, keep real, and watch for the next video. See you then guys. Talk to you soon.